Hello, I'm Arf Axel Mars, and here we have NPR, National Putts Radio. And they are extolling gleefully the idea of uh, AOC's so-called Green New Deal, which, by the way, is all re- was about to be put to a vote if it hasn't already. We're screwed if that goes through, we're dead. Especially people are living out in the uh, countryside. So, what? I'm, I'm not going to read this. This is a huge, huge article. So I'm not going to read it. But basically, they're imagining a socialist utopia. This, uh, the idiot who wrote this author is named Dan, Dan Charles. That's the name of the idiot. I had to rip him on Twitter as long as I They're imagining a world where the sun provides everything and there's no carbon and everybody's happy. Well, that doesn't. I am going to do a video. And it's going to be placed on YouTube this time showing the results of their world if this is allowed to fly. And you're not going to like it. It's going to have images that you're not going to like. I guarantee you that. Because this can only end in the destruction of most, most people. There'll be billions dead if this goes through. If it goes to the whole world. Well, I'm going to do a science fiction story on this. In order to show what type of thing will happen if this goes through. And my science fiction story would be mild compared to the actual truth. Like I said, that does it. 2019, I went looking for people who mapped out this world without greenhouse emissions and found them in Silicon Valley. Silla, unpronounceable, is an engineer. The back deck of her house high up in the hills overlooks Cupertino. Apple's circular headquarters is hidden in the morning mist. It's a long way from Istanbul, Turkey, where she grew up. A great place to conjure up future worlds. Maybe you'd like some coffee, unpronounceable size. This goes on and on. This is a huge article. But basically, they do this. We're looking probably, it's hard to say, five or six billion dead if it goes worldwide. In this country, Probably 300 million, I would say. It depends. Uh, cannot live like this. We, technology does not exist. You get, that, get enough energy to heat our homes and run our gadgets. And technology does not exist to power the merchant marine, like I pointed out before. Uh... So I am open to suggestions as far as plot. But I've already been toying with this idea. Now it's going to become a reality. Don't know exactly how. But uh, people have got to be informed one way or the other of what's going on. See, this is about taking away our freedom. You won't have the freedom to do anything. All you'll do is be subservient to the state. That's what this is about. Until we can get something like zero-point energy or something of that nature where, you know, your average car can produce its own power and you don't have to worry about things. We're going to need oil. We need oil anyway for things, for all sorts of things. Car tires and 
insulation, and, you know, electrical insulation, forging metal. We need oil for all sorts of things. And these scumbags would take that away from us. So get ready. I'll uh, start very soon um, a video project for this. I think I razz that idiot who wrote this article, too. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.